So we will s- Hello my fellow Latter Day Saints, Kenzie Virtual, the moment entertainer here, the most inspirational moment in all of Asia here, back Saturday, Tom and Jerry Sins are back, it's back to business now that E3 is out of the way. So, here we go, uh, the next episode of Whereabouts Are We? We have done one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Episode number eleven. Now there's going to be another episode today as well. So uh, two episodes for post E3. Yeah, I'm feeling generous. Anyway, this episode entitled "Baby Puss." Here we go. And we go back to recycling music. Where's the theme we know? You are a bad, 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 naughty little baby. Running away from your mama like that? Now you come right out of there, or I will get my hairbrush and I'll- Tirade of insults is worthy of taking the sin I just put on right back off. I'm so- <laughs> But I need to put that sin back on because she shouldn't be dragging him by his tail, which was would result in uh, scratches being made. Actually, scratch the scratches. <sighs> scratch the scratches, that was terrible. The claws should be able to come through the baby booty things that Tom is wearing. My point still stands, she shouldn't be dragging him by his tail. Man thinks, like I always say, it ain't the work, it's the worry. How much does Tom weigh here, anyway? And now it's time for your dinner, and here it is! Dinner consisting of a bottle of milk. Milk is a beverage, not a food substance, as in solid food. You stay right in your little bed, or I will thank you again, and, and goodbye! <laughs> the fact she had to stop herself before she said anything worse is testament as to how good the writing is in this episode already. And we're not even 60 seconds in. Barely under 60 seconds. Disobeying your master's orders. He seriously wants to give himself hiccups, doesn't he? Why does it look like it is still full after the amount he drank? Big baby noises. Mm, shouldn't be able to do that with his feet. Oh wait, all four of his paws are his feet. What a waste of milk. Jerry is pretty much me in a nutshell right now. What on earth is he saying and what on earth is he doing? And somehow, Jerry finds this very amusing. Normally it's the other way around. Obviously not in this case. Is it bad that Jerry actually pulls off the baby a lot more convincingly than Tom does? Yeah, that's not convincing at all, is it? <laughs> seven strikes with that brush, seven sins, because he should only be running away after just one. Unless he has a very high pain threshold. And second of all, a literal peeping Tom! see that doll inside the bed when he tried to jump into it. That would not actually work. As far as the convenient timing of the music stopping. Baby. 
Ouch! That's a trip to the vets! Mmm, no, that would result in part of the dollhouse being ripped apart, meaning you would need to get a new one. Now you get right back in! You only got yourself to blame, Tom, because you didn't listen to her. Get up one more time, I will hold your little nose, and I will pour castor oil in your mouth, and it will taste awful bad, and that ain't good. Not so subtle foreshadowing. <laughs> Three cats, finding a mouse that does that, and they find it attractive. Shouldn't they be, oh I don't know, TRYING TO KILL THE MOUSE?! <laughs> yeah, their reactions pretty much us throughout the entire episode. Just in case, uh, you are kidding me. Also, hang on a second! See the cat on the right? Looks like you recovered from the Suffering Cats episode. Oh! What are the chances? Inability to learn the lyrics to a simple lullaby. The obligatory face going red when you are getting angry cliche. Don't know why you're so confused, Tom. You've been doing that the entire episode! I'm pretty sure the black cat's name is Butch. Butch is a bully to Tom! See? That's what should have happened when Tom drank the milk like that earlier! No, that would not be able to stick on his face that easily. Ah, there's the obligatory unrealistic physics! <laughs> that would have gone kaboom long before now. From unrealistic physics to unrealistic sound design! They always make popping sound like a gunshot going kaboom! Oops! A daisy! How high is the ceiling anyway? Also, Bud shouldn't be that strong. Oops! That's a concussion, and another trip to the vet. What? The other two cats shouldn't be that strong either, especially the last one being able to bounce him into the fishbowl on his head! Yeah, you would not be doing that if you were an actual baby. Oh, he fell in the fishbowl. Forced sympathy. <laughs> if that was meant to sound like uh, an emergency vehicle with the bell, where's the bell on the pram? Because I don't see one. Anesthetic. An anesthetic consisting of a croaky hammer shot to the head. That again, sounds like a gunshot being fired. Where is the realistic sound design? Diaper. Diaper? Gross? Even though it's water, if that were IRL, gross. <laughs> Do they want to take him to the vet? Cause he's getting pretty close. <laughs> Another safety pin. It's not that difficult. No, they do not go on like that. No, just no. Unrealistic movement. How is he able to make different notes when he's plucking in the EXACT SAME PLACE FOR EACH NOTE?! Oh, Wait, 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 I spy continuity error because one of the whiskers vanished and then reappeared! Double sin! Hooking in the eyes, that's another trip to the vet. 
Oh, good grief! What on earth are you wearing? That reminds me. Were drag queens a thing back in the 40s? I don't think they would have been socially acceptable. <laughs> what on earth is his facial expression doing? Yeah, with a doll. If you were dancing with another cat, I would be impressed. But I am not, and therefore you get sinned for that. Okay, no, 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 no. Double the sin count because that ain't happening! Why is this so hilarious to you, Jerry? She would have come through long before that point. You are a bad baby, so now you have Could you put enough castor oil on that spoon? Come on! Yeah, a nutcracker on the tail. That ain't gonna end well. You know the foreshadowing I meant? You know the not so subtle foreshadowing I mentioned earlier? Here it is, right here. Now where did that safety pin come from because it wasn't there earlier? Oh, poor Jerry. Karma does have a weird way of working things out. And here's hoping that you feel a lot better for the next episode. Well, 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 well. From a record, br from a record breaker in the last episode, and we end up. From a record breaker in the last episode to one with not such a high sing count this time around. But nevertheless, bloopers will be following. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, for the next episode very shortly. Until then, if you enjoyed what you saw, as always, hit the, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Uh, right, um, no previous video on this occasion because over the last week I've been covering E3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my usual Tom and Jerry Sins playlist here and give you an annotation to take you straight to my channel. In the meantime, I'll see you guys soon for the next episode. Until then, have a fantastic day. Peace out. Stay faithful. A croquet hammer shot to the head consists of an anaesthetic. I'm just going to turn again. Dinner consisting of a... No, I'm sorry. A bottle of milk consists of dinner. Nope. Does that work? Does that work? Is that right? Let me work it. Take the words. Take them and take them and flip and reverse. I don't know how. I don't know how that flip and reverse thing goes. The obligatory face growing red. Nope. Let's try that again. Don't know what you're sucking. Why not just use another safety pin? It's that. Ugh. Why not use that 